Hey everyone, it's Jolt here with a very quick overview of what's new, quality of life improvements and fixes in Excolidro Obsidian 2.4.0. Flowcharts have arrived. If you create an element and then press Control or Command arrow keys, you can create next elements in a flowchart. If you press the arrow key multiple times, then you can create multiple elements. And if you want to navigate your flowchart, you can use the Alt arrow keys to do so. Then I've made some improvements to the PDF support. Namely, if you select a cropped area in the PDF++ plugin, you can paste that area into Excolidraw and that area is going to be displayed. This is not going to copy the image. This is a reference to the image. This means that if you click on this reference, it will take you back to the PDF page and show you where that reference is. And also in PDF++, you can see all your highlights in all your different documents. The second big improvement is now you can import PDF pages as images into frames. Why is this good? For example, this is good because now you can reference a page, including all its markups in a markdown document, simply by using the frame number, which is the page number. And this just makes it so much better and easier to reference your mark, your pages with markup. Then I implemented element links that support metadata like tags and inline data view fields. So for example, if I take this monkey and add the metadata or the link at the top reminds me of monkeys, then if I open Brain, you can see that with this, I created a relationship between this document and monkeys with the reminds me of tag. I implemented Obsidian hotkey overrides. So you will notice that Excolidro comes with a wealth of great hotkeys, but these hotkeys often conflict Obsidian hotkeys. So for example, grouping elements in Excolidro is done with Control or Command G, but this opens the graph view in an Obsidian. Now, if you don't want to change your Obsidian hotkeys, you can add overrides here. What the override means is you can tell Excolidro to disregard the Obsidian hotkeys for these keys while using Excolidro. You'll find this feature under plugin settings under appearance and behavior. Now let's move on to the quality of life improvements. If you control plus meta, that's the Windows key, click or control plus command click on a Mac, on an image, then this editor will open up. And here you can modify the link. You can change the image itself, or in case of the PDF++ plugin, for example, you can change the crop area. There's some description at the bottom of the screen to help you do this. I've made some tweaks how search in Excolidro works. First of all, if you press Control F to bring up the search, now Excolidraw is going to search not only in text elements, but also in image names, in frame names, in element links, and so on. And second, the results are going to be highlighted strongly. So even on a very busy image where you have results all over the place, it's very easy to spot the results. Also, if you click a link, a backlink, a search result from Obsidian, then Excolidro is going to highlight the results of that search properly. Or if the search result is on the markdown side of the document, Excolidro is going to flip the document over and show you the result on the markdown side. Now, there are some new settings as well. For example, you can enable or disable double tap eraser in pen mode, or you can choose single or double click markdown embed editing. Single click editing means that with a single click, you move into the edit mode instead of having a reading mode and then needing to click once more to start editing. Now there are some other nice features. If you right click on the canvas and select canvas and shape properties, now you can change the grid size and grid step. You first need to enable grid by toggling the grid and once the grid is turned on you will see the grid size and grid step number that you can change based on your needs. 
Now there's some exciting performance improvement as well, especially if you use Excolit Pro to take handwritten notes. Look at this page. I'm at 10% zoom and it's filled with handwritten text. If I zoom in and start writing, the writing is still smooth, it flows well. And also I've made some changes that autosave will cause much fewer and shorter glitches. Hopefully it will not cause any glitches at all. Now the other exciting feature is pan and zoom while editing text, which is great. It's such an awesome feature. I can start to edit text and if I need to move it to the side, I can move it and still continue editing text. Plus there are a couple of other small enhancements as well. Remember the next update will come at the beginning of October. If in the meantime you're interested in the shiny new things, you can join the beta testing group. I'm going to link the video that explains how to do that in the description. Thank you.